Ma, 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 what it do, broski? It's your main man, Davey, Matt Fly, 2 Y back on the block with another banger, broski. You know what I'm saying? The Mob Only album is out right now, bro. Dropped last night at midnight, man. Shout out to all my broskies who done cop that thing already, man. I know my little brother Tony L jamming that jank. You know what I'm saying? I know my little bro Poochie jamming that jank. You know what I'm saying? Quint Lamel Wall, no more jamming that shit, broski. You know what I'm saying? My dogs out here rocking with me the whole way, man. Hey, <laughs> we going on them, broski. Couple of the homies on IG were rocking with me this morning as well, G. That shit made my day, bro, to wake up this morning, see y'all posting the album, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it with it, let me know what you rocking with and all that, bro. That, that shit mean the world to you, boy. I ain't gonna fake. That shit is the most important part of this video, for real, for real, man. Y'all make sure y'all check out that motherfucker album. As soon as this shit go off, it will be linked in the description box. You did, mob only. That's our list, man. I ain't gonna ruin the shit and spoil it for y'all. I really want y'all to hit me with y'all own opinions and what y'all think about the joints. You know what I'm saying? Air track, 10 of them, no skip. Air last one on bangers, you know what I'm saying? A couple of repeatables on that bitch, too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You can run that shit all the way through without skipping. For real, for real, bro. I did it twice today, like... It's a, it's a smooth ride, man. I put that bitch together, broski. And when you listen to it, just know it ain't motherfucking a million ghostwriters in there with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't got a million people making my beats. Everything you hear is all me, my G. You know what I'm saying? Mix, master, all that bullshit. Making the beats, everything, bro. Just know everything you hear, all me. Unless it's a little Chicky Beasy on track, you know what I'm saying? We hit him with it. Hey, yo, daddy, you wanna come out here? Fuck out all them niggas, fuck out all that shit, you know what I'm saying? That's all about this mob shit. This mob shit, the hardest shit out right now. Leave me to tell it's the hardest shit to drop this year. You know what I'm saying? Kanye dropped today. Oh, yeah. Well, was it the day or last night, too? I think, you know what I'm saying? On the same time. I didn't even know Ye was dropping some shit. It was just like, huh, huh. But I don't be keeping the eye. On the music game as much as I used to either. I used to not miss a beat. I'm listening to every goddamn thing, trash and all. I would have been listening to every mixtape on that piff, everyone on iTunes, you know what I mean? Every album on iTunes, everything. I used to be really, really on it, but now I just don't have the time to, bro. Goddamn, young Rooster Man, that, hey, young Rooster Man demand a lot of attention, broski. You know what I'm saying? I better have time to hop on camera and do this shit. <laughs> really do, for real, for real, bro. I had to take a nap before I hopped on camera, my nigga. I ain't bullshitting with you. But yeah, um, that yay, it's riding, bro. It's like three standout songs on there, too. It's three of them that stood out. The, the first track, just because it was weird as hell in the beginning, and then it transitioned like three times. It's like four songs in one in the beginning and shit. It's weird. The first is a creepy ass monologue, you know what I'm saying? Where well, you can tell he's cycling through his mental issues or whatever, like, it, it seems like it's a a conscious stream of his thoughts, or, you know what I'm saying? How, basically, he's saying he loves himself to death, but he done thought about killing himself, so what makes you think he ain't thought about killing your dumb ass type shit, so, yeah. That first one, that's some weird shit. The second song, I like that one. It's, you know what I mean? It's a, Tad bit more of aggressive vibe to it. Crazy. The song after that had a crazy ass line in it, you know what I'm saying? About some titties, like. <laughs> My man pretty much said some shit like, you know what I'm saying? I love titties because it proves I can focus on two things at once. That was the dopest shit. Literally, yeah, that was, the, that was the hardest shit. The hardest line on the album, but as far as standout songs, the first one, the second one, and that last one. But, yo, okay. The last song is 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 really gonna open up the conversation for the rest of the whole video, cause like I got so many motherfucking conspiracies, bro. Like, okay, take all conspiracies out the way, we're gonna get into those, but the song is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I am a father, I have a daughter, I completely agree with everything said, mood, tempo, and all that shit on that last song, right? But Me being a critical thinker, the song is left off with Nicki saying, Ayo, say it like this, da 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 da. Clearly letting you know where that line came from and all that shit, right? And 
I would say, I don't want to say the average person or I will put it to you this way. It's going to be a 50-50 split on how people going to take that little insert, right? Half of the people going to look at it like, oh shit, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? It's showing that it's still a good relationship between them two and da 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 da. Like beyond all the mess with Pusha T and Drake and shit, which we're going to get into a little bit later. But, you know what I'm saying? It it, it kind of looks like he like saying that I'm cool or ain't no black blood with the camps, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's just some shit in between them two and shit is all good or just a kind of reminder of the iconic monster verse, you know what I'm saying? Half of the people gonna look at it like it's showing that it's still a good relationship there. But a motherfucker like me though, how I took it is, is Kanye sublimely trying to take a bullet out of Drake clip, you know what I'm saying? Cause you think about it, Drake is on the clock at this point. How I got to score in between Pusha T and Drake? I got to score 1-1. One, one. A lot of people saying 2 push Drake 1. But I don't feel like Infrared is like a point for push. I feel like Infrared was a piggyback off of Exodus. Where like he tried to spark some shit up way back in the day. But you know what I mean? Drake let it ride clearly out of respect that he had for him. He gave him a pass on Exodus. So with infrared, it's like, bro, you still talk about my motherfucking business, man. You know what I'm saying? You still running your mind about my motherfucking business, man. So that's what we got. Well, uh, what Drake shit? Duffy, right? So bang. I get that point to Drake. Push don't get a point for infrared from me. You know what I'm saying? So boom. Everybody thinking like, hey, shit, another Meek Mill situation. I ain't gonna lie, I did too. Push the T comes back. Bang! Hit him again. What the shit called? The surgical some shit? Da 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 da. I forgot the name of it. But, oh, oh, the story of Adonis. Bang! Tripping like shit, right? Push T comes back with the story of Adonis. Now, whoa, shit. I ain't gonna say we all knew that it's been talks of Drake having a child out there, but it's no secret that it was. Drake possibly could have had a kid out here, you know what I'm saying? But nobody really paid it no mind, you know what I'm saying? Nobody pushed the T shine a light on it the way he did. The narrative that he put on it makes it look terrible for Drake, you know what I'm saying? Along with how he, he put it together with his son and, and the shot at 40, broski. Oh my gosh. The shot at 40, man. That was the most fucked up shit about that song, but I loved it so much just because of how he did it. Don't get me wrong, man. I'm like, at this point, I'm still, I'm, I'm still gonna be, I'm still Drake side, and I'm still want Drake to come back and knock this motherfucking top off. You know what I'm saying? I live in Virginia, live in the 757. I grew up off of Lord Willing. That was man. I grew up off the clips and the push too. You know what I'm saying? Grinding. Yeah, we we banged out on the motherfucking. On the uh, on the bleachers in the gym and, and freestyled all the way through that shit. Yeah, grew up off that shit. But still, man, the boy Drizzy, man, I fuck with mixtape Drake. You know what I'm saying? When he first came in, before, but like I, I was fucking with Drake. I paid him to be a superstar, so him doing what he doing makes me happy to see because I seen it coming before it happened. And I still want him to get them, you know what I'm saying? I don't want Drake to go out like this, bro. We've never seen Drake be the butt of the joke if he didn't allow it. You see what I'm saying? Drake always somewhat controlled the narrative of what's being said about him on the internet. You know what I mean? When we did joke on him, it was for a hotline bling, and that's the only promotion for the song, so of course he cool with that. But... As far as any other shit, bro, we, we haven't seen Drake in this position, so it's like, my nigga, come on, man. Come on, man. I ain't trying to see Drake go out like that, so it's definitely 1-1 one, one in my book. Duffy is a good one. I go back and listen to Duffy. I don't I don't listen to uh, the story of Dynasty as much. You know what I mean? When I heard it, it's like, oh, shit. It's like that super ugly when Jay-Z came with super ugly and talking about, you know what I mean, leaving condoms on. On baby seats and some more shit. This is just super nasty and disrespectful type shit. And man, the 40 shit, I really didn't get to explain how I felt about this 40 shit because I, I was fucking rambling all over the place. But man, the, the, you know what I mean? 
How much time we got that man? Six, six, six. <laughs> got the double flow, nigga. Six, six, six. Oh my God. The way he put that together was so nice. I like as a rapper. You see what I'm saying? I went on the whole spiel in the beginning of the video how I put all my shit together, but how he put that shit together, and no pun intended, it was no malice in that. I felt like it was more of an observation than a shot. You know what I'm saying? He ain't say, I hope your nigga die. He said, he ain't say, goddamn, you know what I mean? When he die, I'm gonna dance on his grave and piss on his shit. He ain't say nothing too crazy. He just said, how much how much time your man got? You know what I'm saying? He looked sick over there. Ooh, woo. That tick, 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 six, 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 fuck. That shit, man, look, that shit was massive. That shit was hard. But yeah, man, and that mob on the shit out too. So, yeah, all that been going on with the music shit, bro. Um, Snickers B, they putting a 45 on the back of the motherfucking Jordans, broski. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> if they ain't got them, no, I ain't gonna say they fucked the game up, whatever, because me personally, I really don't care, bro. I don't give a fuck. They can put a 45. 86, 69, goddamn, 187. They put anything on that shit, you know what I'm saying? As long as it comes out the store and it's an official Jordan brand product, a Concord, I'ma fuck with it. I don't care what, they can put a middle finger on there and I'ma buy that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Jordan brand can literally say fuck you on the back of the shoe and guess what? I might double up. It's a Concord, G. You know what I'm saying? It's the Concord of living. The, the, the best version that we're gonna get right now. You know what I'm saying? If you go back by all the pair, they pissed out yellow. What you gonna do with them? Besides rocking one time and get the outside of them yellow. And then, a couple more weeks after that, about time to say goodbye to the motherfucking milk. So, could that shit gonna start to separate? So, you know what I mean? What can we really do? Like, honestly, I don't give a fuck. Do y'all care if they put a 4 or 5 on the back or not? You know what I'm saying? I don't. <laughs> For real, tree of spill. Um... It's supposed to be a million pair of Yeezys coming out, broski. A million cream V2s right off the bat. How I feel about that? Why didn't you make a million pair of zebras? That would have been fucking fire. A million pair of pirate blacks. Yeah. Hit us with that way. You know what I'm saying? Granted, I do fuck with the cream V2s. I had a personal pair and I sold it just because I feel like so. I felt like some shit like this was finna happen. And at the time, I needed a cash dog. We was about to move in here. So I needed to, you know what I'm saying, run that spread up real quick so we can come in here comfortably and make sure we have cash on deck to handle whatever handle if anything occurs. You dig? So, with the mean pairs of them coming, of course I'm gonna fucking try to get a pair. Hell yeah, I need that shoe back in the collection now. You know what I'm saying? But, they definitely should have hit us with some zebras. Or a million pair of the V2 Pirate Blacks. Hell, I would have took a million pair of blues. Uh... The original blues, yeah, run them shits back. That would've been fire. Hell yeah. And what else, man? Uh, I don't think nothing else going on outside today. Oh shit, yeah, all them kicks dropped today. Let me know if y'all picked up anything. The Mashai Wear dunks, them decon dunks I was talking about, they dropped today. It was a big ass restock on Nike Hyper Adapts. Y'all copy any of them shits or? Are y'all still interested in them? For me, I feel like they overpriced, bro. The most I would pay for that shoe is like two fifty. Yeah, I do two fifty for it. You know what I mean? I don't know hyper adapts. The shoes dope. They look very, very clean. That's one of them jumps you can put on with the gray sweats and fuck them up. You know what I'm saying? But that self lacing technology got that bitch at seven fifty. And fuck that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can, I can tie my own shoe for seven hundred fifty dollars, boss. Miss me with that one all the way. But hell yeah, bro, we gonna get up out of here, man. We done chopped it up enough, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go fuck with that mob on the album, cause I went hard all year. It took me a year to make that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. As far as you know, what I'm saying, find the time to make a beat, rap on it, then mix it down, and then you know what I'm saying, make another beat. Find sounds, find the vibe, you know what I'm saying? What's popping right now? How can I be ahead of the curve without trying to sound too different? You know what I'm saying? The shit that we on now, the vibe that's, that's on this Mob Only album, that shit probably gonna rock out all summer. Y'all gonna hear niggas on my wave, or I ain't gonna say on my wave, but y'all gonna hear music that sounds similar, just like it, like all summer. And I've been working on this shit all last year and just got it complete to get it y'all now, so. You know what I mean? Y'all know how this shit go, man. Independent living around this motherfucker, baby. It's your main man, David. Matt flies too wide for my family and yours, bros. Oh, shit, bro, I forgot. I got a new pop.
Ain't no more sad song. Come way too lit. Bitch, I'm almost rich. Okay, tell me shit. And we started from the bottom. Ho, we came from the bricks. I was project living. Not a how look like a lit. On the cool, blowing bit dope. Off the balcony. Super smooth. I hop out the whip. The hoe go talk to me.